Okay, what I want to talk about real quick now is what we call the constant of proportionality. This is something that's going to help us when we're trying to look and see if a table or a graph or any kind of relationship is going to be proportional or non-proportional. Now this looks really similar to our unit rate, but the big difference is in how we use it. Unit rate is used to see what is the rate per single unit, where the constant of proportionality is used to determine proportionality. So they have a similar formula, the exact same formula actually, but very different uses. So to find our constant of proportionality, we're going to call it K. This is going to be the symbol that we see. And that represents Y over X, very similar to our unit rate. Okay, now the trick is, in order for a relationship to be proportional, the constant of proportionality has to be the exact same for the entire table. So as soon as you see a row where it's different, the relationship is automatically non-proportional. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give us some examples. We're going to take a look at this table right here. So what I have is I have uh, miles traveled and I have gallons used. So what I'm going to start with is I'm going to start with my y over x and I'm going to start by looking at the very first row here with 180 and 10. So I want to find my k should be y over x. So I want to say alright I know that's 180 over 10. We want to reduce it down as much as we can. Okay. Whenever we have zeros here I know I can divide both of them by 10 divide both by 10 and really what kind of happens there when you do that is we're just getting rid of those zeros right so this is going to give me a constant of proportionality of 18 over 1 so now to see if this is proportional we need to continue checking it out with our other uh, with our other rows so let's look at the second row there's my first up top here's my second right here again it's going to be y over x this time I'm gonna look at 270 over 15. Okay, 270 over 15. Now, if I have my handy dandy calculator, I know that I can divide both of these by 15. Divide both by 15, and that is going to give me a constant of proportionality that comes out to 18 over 1. So, so far, we're looking all right. Now, I need to check it with my last row on the table, right? We want to check all the rows that we have. So again, here, constant y over x. That's going to give me this time 360 over 20. I know I can divide both of these by 20. Divide by 20 here. And again, I see that I have a constant of proportionality that is 1 or 18 over 1, excuse me. So here, for this entire table, I had a constant of proportionality of 18 over 1. Because that exists, this relationship is proportional. If I ran into something where they were different, that would give me a relationship that was non-proportional. So, let's take a look at an example that would not have a constant of proportionality. Okay. Let me get out of here, all right. Here we go. So I'm going to make up a table for us here. Say I have this table right here. Mm -hmm. Then we have that. Okay, so here's our x's and our y's. So again, I'm looking for my constant of proportionality. My formula is y over x. So let's start with my first row. I'm going to do... 4 over 1, which reduces to 4 over 1, or 4. So that's k for the first row. Well, let's look at the second row. Should be y over x. This one I have 5 over 2. Ooh, but if I reduce that down, that gives me 2.5. Already, I can tell that this table is not proportional because these two numbers right here are not the same. Remember, if it was a proportional relationship, my constant would be the exact same the whole way down. Well, let's check just the last one just to see what happens there to make sure. Okay, again, I'm looking, my constant is my y over x. So this time I have 6 over 3, and this one is going to reduce to 2. So once again, I have a third one that is not the same. Since these constants are not the same, they are not this relationship this table 
is not proportional. So that's what our constant of proportionality is going to be used for. It's y over x, and we're checking is it the same throughout the entire table, because if it is, it's proportional. If it's not the same, it's non-proportional. And that's your constant of proportionality.